Hi, um, I want to ask the people that watch my videos a lot, or, or even anyone, anyway, I'm just asking you who is watching the video, what your opinion on review scores are, because I recently, it was a couple days ago, I released a review for Expand, and it actually didn't get, um, that many views on it, which is a shame because I think it's probably my favorite in new indie game that I've played this year. But the problem I had with it was the fact that I wanted to let people know how I felt about the game, but I didn't want to tell them anything about the game, or at least for the first part of the review. Um, it begins with, if you're already interested in Expand, then you should play it. It's a complete recommendation for anyone that looked at it and knew that it was their kind of game. And now I'm starting to realize that actually there is some worth to review scores. I used to be pretty critical of them. I uh, tended to take the view that Total Biscuit takes and that review scores kind of take away from the overall review because people tend to just get so hung up on the score. And I'm wondering, I, I think I want to introduce some kind of scoring thing. I had like the game chart for a while and I've kind of drifted away from that. I'm not, I'm not too sure if that's the best way of doing it. I want to implement a scoring system where before people even watch the review, they know what I felt about the game. Because again, that's useful. It, it tells someone that I thought the game was good without telling them anything about the game. And that's, that's great. Uh, it means that there's no kind of quote unquote spoilers or expectations going in other than, you know, it's a good game. But my problem with review scores um, in the gaming journalism industry, I guess, is the fact that they don't really make any sense. Like, a 10 out of 10 game is incredibly, amazingly good. Like, it, well, technically, it should be a perfect game. It hits all of the marks. And, and a game like that doesn't exist, yet there are games that have got 10 out of 10. I don't think, maybe you'll disagree, but I don't think that anything should ever get a 10 out of 10 at any point if it's scored at, from like a out of 10 system. I don't think anything should ever get a 10 out of 10. And things that are considered it average or even bad are given like sixes or sevens and that's above average. Five should be average, you know? Um, and it's kind of a silly thing to get hung up on but it does bother me because I would like to have my rating system done in a way that it's easy to see where I stand on this game, where I can have a benchmark place for average, a benchmark place for perfect, and a benchmark place for the worst thing that's ever come out of humanity. And I wanna place a game somewhere on that scale, but I don't really wanna do a uh, one out, uh, sorry, uh, out of 10 system or an out of five, uh, because what I would want to do with that is say that five is average, and <laughs> I would start scoring games on that, and people would think that, like, I gave a game a six out of ten, that I think it's not that great, when actually it's above average, like, it's a recommendation, really. So I've decided to ask you guys to, um, see what you think about it, what you think I should do for a scoring system. I hope I get some comments back, at least at least one or two, so I have an idea of what to work from. I, I, I kind of want to design my own uh, ranking system. What I do want to keep is the Rye Seal of Approval. I want the Rye Seal of Approval to be something that I do give games, but maybe it shouldn't mean what I'm making it mean right now. And right now, basically, I would give a game that I think really, 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 really innovated or or really impacted the market or something. I would give it a rise seal of approval, but maybe I should just, you know, games that I really like get a rise seal of approval. I don't know. I don't know how to make it work. Uh, I really have no idea where to begin from, so I'm just asking you guys. All right, see ya.